Hey everyone, Lee Lowell here, smartoptionseller.com. Hey listen, I, I've gotten lots of questions about how to create, or how to trade option credit spreads within Interactive Brokers, their, their trader workstation, their platform. Now there's many different ways to um, create a spread, an option spread. So what I'm going to do right now is show you uh, in the paper trading account with IB, how to create an option credit spread and what the what the mechanics look like and and how to um, figure out the price that you want to sell the spread for. Now these are these are option credit spreads that we will look at put option credit spreads. So um, if you're if you're interested in learning how to do this with interactive brokers, I will show you the three different methods. And if you use another platform like E-Trade or or TD Ameritrade, maybe it works the same with those. I don't trade with TD Ameritrade or E-Trade, so I, I can't give an example, but this is how we do it with Interactive Brokers. So let me show you how we do it. Let me make myself a little smaller here. So when you open up uh, the Trader Workstation with Interactive Brokers, you have the opportunity to look at three different formats of this this desktop screen right here. Now, if you're using the the app on your phone, it's a little different. I don't use the app um, in the in my office all the time, so I only use the desktop version. So this is the desktop version of Trader Workstation, and um, you can have three different, I guess, platforms you want to call them within the Trader Workstation. You have this is what's called the classic. If you see my mouse down here at the bottom, this is the classic TWS Trader Workstation. This is the oldest version that they have. It's the one that they originally started with. It's the one that I use uh, most often because I've been with uh, Interactive Brokers for you know twenty some odd years when they first came around. So I've always used this classic version, and it's what they started with. And I'm just so used to it. But they have the mosaic, they have the mosaic version and the options trading version as well. So I'm going to go through all three and show you how to create an option credit spread. So first off, when you when you get to the, the classic version, this is the, the like the real estate you'll see. This is what it opens up to. And you have to populate and fill in um, all the, the information you want. But this is this is the way I do it. This is the way I like to do it. And a lot of people will tell me when they're creating option credit spreads within Interactive Brokers, the credit number, the credit price comes up with a negative sign in front of the credit amount, which is very strange to me because when you use the, the TWS version like this, it doesn't come up that way. So let me show you what I mean. Let's take a look at Apple and decide that we want to sell a put option credit spread on Apple. So I type in the symbol for Apple. This will give me the the first line I like to have is the actual stock itself. So here's the stock price bid and ask. Now this is the this is the paper trading account. So I think these prices are are possibly delayed 15 minutes. Now when, when you want to create uh, another line, another quote line for the actual spread itself. You type in the symbol AAPL for Apple. You hit enter. So it gives you this menu here. And under the Apple Inc., this is all the choices you can have. We go down to combinations and we hit option combos, smart directed. That's going to give you the, bre the best prices to the best option exchange that's available at the time. So we click on option combos smart and it'll bring up another window that allows you to choose the type of spread or option strategy you want to use. Now, in this case, it's a vertical spread. Here, you have these tabs at the top. You click on the strategy tab, and then on this little drop down, it gives you all these different choices of types of option strategies. A bull put credit spread is a type of vertical spread. So we choose the vertical spread option, it, it pre-fill, pre-filled in here because this is what I always use. And we're going to sell the combo. We're going to sell the spread. So we click this down arrow and we click sell here. Now I want to look at, let's say the, the May 21st, 2021, you can do whatever ratio you want. We do one to one and we're going to select puts because we're selling put spreads. And we're going to look at the, um, let's say the apples at 120 something dollars. We're going to look at the 100 put to sell and we're going to buy the 95 put five dollar widespread and now you have this filled in you click on add and what it'll do is it'll it will you bring up this other window it shows you if you're going to buy now 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 interactive brokers calls it a bear spread now in, in the actual trading lingo a bull spread a bull put option credit spread 
when you want to sell the put spread, it's called a bull put spread. When you when you buy the spread, it's called a bear spread. So it's just a difference in the lingo. It tells you if you're going to buy the spread, you're going to buy the higher strike and sell the lower strike. That's not what we're doing. We're selling this spread and we're going to sell the higher strike, which is the 100 put, and we're going to buy the lower strike. So let's just close this window, close this window. Now what we have here is the what IB does is it gives you each leg, the 95 put and the 100 put, and it gives you the bid ask on each one, but it also populates the spread price right here, the spread line, it fills it in for you. So the spread itself is actually a 53 cent bid at 58 cent offer. Now, one of the ways that you can tell um, the fair value of, of a spread is, is somewhere in the middle. So this spread is probably worth 55 uh, or so cents per spread. But what you can also do is you can subtract the bids from each other, subtract the offers from each other, and you can see what the value is. So this is about 56 cents right here, subtract each one, and this is 57 cents right here. So the spread is probably somewhere between 56, 57 cents. Now you can see the spread line is moving, 53 cent bid at 60 offer now. And it's moving because the price of Apple stock is moving. So when the stock moves, obviously the option prices move and that'll affect the spread price as well. So now if we, I wanna sell this spread, all I have to do is invoke uh, a selling spread by clicking on the bid price. You can click on the ask price, that'll invoke a buy ticket, but we wanna sell the spread. So we click on the, the bid price, it'll invoke a spread ticket. Now. What this does is that it, it pre-populates this, uh, this order ticket for you. So it's telling you, you've got the Apple May 195. It, it really should be bull put spread, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna sell it. Make sure you have this, the dot and the sell here. And we're gonna sell one spread and we're gonna use a limit price of 56 cents credit. Okay, we're, when you sell a spread or you sell an option, you're getting a credit. Someone's buying it from you, so you're selling it. That's a credit into your account. Now, we always click the preview button to see what's going to happen before we actually place the trade. Don't worry about this yellow information here. It really doesn't mean anything. So what we're about to do is we're selling one combo. We're selling the higher strike 100 put, and we're buying the lower strike 95 put, $5 wide, and we're going to get a credit of 56 cents. You see the C? The green C means it's a credit. You're getting money into your account. Now, what people will tell me, and I'll show you in the other versions, that a lot of times this 56 amount will have a negative sign in front of it, which I'm not sure why IB does that. You're still getting a credit. It just, they happen to put a negative sign in front of it. When I use the classic version, which we're using right now, it doesn't do that. So down here, it tells you, you know, you're going to sell it for 56 cent credit. That's 56 actual dollars for each spread that you sold commissions here. And here's your net price. You'll get $53 and 76 cents roughly. And on the right hand side, it tells you your, your account balance before the trade and your account balance after the trade. Since I'm going to be getting roughly $53, my account balance will go up by $53, okay? This, this amount here is about $53 more than this amount. And this is a paper trading account. I wish I had a million bucks, but this is just you know fake money. And the margin requirement always is the, the distance between the strike prices. This is a $5 wide spread, so that's $500 for each one single spread. So there's your margin requirement, $500. Okay, and that's the maximum risk in the trade as well. You're going to collect $56 um, to risk $500. It's actually $444, right? $444 plus $56, that's, um, that's $500. Bucks. But anyway, you can't lose more than $500, a little less than that if you subtract out your credit. So we're not going to submit this trade. Hit close. So that's how you do it when you uh, want to invoke a spread trade using the classic TWS, ver TWS version. Now you could also use the mosaic. I'm going to show you how to do a spread in mosaic. This is how this is what a lot of people use because it's a more advanced. It's uh, a more, uh, I'd say, um, more bells and whistles with with the with the um, mosaic version here. So what you can do is you have you can have these windows here, different windows. You have a chart. You can have quotes, news, whatever. But in order to get some options activity or some option chains here, you can also you click up here where it says new window. Click the down arrow and you go to the. Let me move myself over here. 
you go down to where it says options tools and you can click on any one of these we're going to first click an option chain it's going to bring up a new window okay here's the new window right here and we have apple populated in here app this is the apple option chain um, it's already in for the May. That's what we just looked at. So you can also create the option spread from within the chain itself. But what you do is down here, you have the option chain up here, and then you have this other window down here, which is the strategy builder. Make sure you have the strategy toggle button on so it'll bring up the other window here. So what we're going to do is within the chain itself, when we click on to create the spread, we click on the bid price of the 100 put because that's the one we're selling. So we click on the bid price and it'll bring it up down here. Okay, now we click on the offer price of the 95 put because that's the one we're going to buy in the spread. Click on the offer price. So now it's populated a spread down here, a spread order for yourself. It gives you a little graph over here. And I think you can also um, use the strategies button here to create a vertical spread. I, have, I haven't used that yet. I just click on the bid and ask like I just showed you. So now you have this, this window here and it's you're selling right here at the top line, you're selling the 100 put and the second line you're buying the 95 put as a spread. Down here is where you actually enter the number of contracts and the price. So it's got quantity here. You click on the limit price here and we're gonna sell this for, see now it's got the negative number. We're gonna try for 56 cents, somewhere in between the current bid ask price. Now we've got a limit price. We're selling one at 56 cent credit for day order. If you wanna keep a good till canceled, you can use these this drop down here. So when we click on submit order, and it shows the margin impact is $500, just like the other screen we worked in, in the classic version. It's gonna have the same kind of ticket here. You've got the, the bull put spread. Now here it says bull put. So uh, IB is giving you different different lingo in different versions here. You're selling the 100 put, you're buying the 95 put. And remember, green C, your credit, but this one says a negative 56 cents, okay? So for whatever reason, it's showing a negative 56 cents. You're still gonna get 56 bucks, but I don't know why IB shows it with a negative number. It's still gonna do the same thing. You're still going to sell the, the 100 put and buy the 95 put. And here, you can look over here, although it says a negative $56, over here it shows you how much you'll get, $53, and your account value will go up by $53, same initial margin. So it's the same thing. It's just a different way to create the spread. Now let's go over to the options trading tab right here, the options trading tab. It'll It has a different um, setup. Okay, you can create different windows. Each one of these windows is separate from the other, and you can you can populate them. You can move them around, whatever. Um, and the top part of the screen here is the option chain for for Apple. Um, let's click on the May options. We're going to do the same thing. We have the 100 puts and 95 puts over here. Um, I think what we can do is let's let's widen this out, open this up a little bit, so we can can see what we're doing. Now, here's the calls on the left, puts on the right, but I wanna show you down here is the strategy part um, of the builder. Now, what you can do is you can slide up the chain so you can see more of the real estate down here, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. You have the strategy builder on. We're gonna sell the 100 put, so we're in going to invoke a sell order by clicking on the bid price. We're going to click on the offer price of the 95 puts that invokes a, a buy uh, a buy order so once again you have the 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 the, uh, the the trade setup right here you're selling the 100 put you're buying the 95 put and you want to uh, down here is where you put in your 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 um, parameters so you got one quantity again click on the limit price button right here and we're going to put in the 56 credit. Now, once again, it's a negative number. The classic version down here shows the credit as a positive number. These two other tabs, Mosaic and Options Trader, shows the, the credit with a negative number for whatever reason why. I don't know why IB does it. Click on Submit over here, and you'll get the same window, okay? You're selling the 100 put, buying the 95 put. A credit, green C means a credit, you're getting money of negative 56 shows a negative sign whatever for whatever reason 
and it says if you actually hover your mouse over the C, it says limit price of credit of 56 cents. So this is showing it as a positive. Anyway, over here, you can still see it's a positive $53, your margin requirement, and total risk is $500. So it's the same thing. You're just using different windows to create the spread. Okay, so we're going to cancel this. That's how you that's how you create a spread. When you when you sell a spread, that's the first part of the equation, right? You're selling the spread and then hopefully the trade moves in your favor, then you can buy the spread back. You just do it in reverse. When you're ready to buy the spread back, let's say we did get filled at 56 cent credit, then next week the, the spread's worth 25 cents, let's say. Well, you want to lock in your gain, you want to lock in your 31 cent gain. So you want to buy the whole spread back. And how do you do that? Well, let's clear all these legs. So it's right here. It says clear all legs. So when you're ready to buy the, the spread back, whenever that may be, it could be tomorrow, next week, an hour later, you can always get in and out of option trades whenever you want. So to, to invoke the, the buyback, you know, remember you sold the spread first. Now you're going to buy the whole spread back as your closing transaction. That means you're going to buy the 100 put now and sell the 95 put. You're just reversing what you've done before. So what you, we are going to invoke the buyback by we're buying, placing the clicking on the offer price for the 100 put this time. And now we're going to click on the bid price of the 95 put. So now we've created a spread where we're buying back the 100 put. We're buying back the 100 put and we're selling the 95 put. If this trade gets executed, it will completely close out the whole trade, hopefully for a profit. So down here, we will uh, limit price. Let's just say we want to buy it back for 25 cents. Okay, so it's a debit. So whenever you're buying something, it's a debit. Before when we sold it, it's a credit. So let's hit submit order so now we are now it's called a bear put since we're buying the put spread we're, you're buying the 100 put and selling the 95 put for a debit a red d means debit 25 cents so this is this has no negative number so obviously uh, ib is showing debits with a positive and credits with a negative so it'll be a, a 25 cent debit but since you sold it for 56 and you're buying it back for 25 that's still going to be a profit of 31 cents uh if this trade gets filled so it'll be uh uh let's see so i'm not sure why it says a negative 53 dollars in here um it shouldn't be but for whatever reason that's i maybe that's because that's what the current price of the spread is but anyway as long as you know what you're doing, you're buying the 100 put and selling the 95 for a 25 cent debit. That this is a will be an order that'll sit there. It's a limit order. Since it's worth 53 cents now, you can't get filled. You can't buy it for 25 cents when it's currently at 53 cents. So you have to wait for the spread to decline in price. So we'll cancel this. Now let's go back to the the classic version here. So if I wanted to uh, buy this spread, if I want, let's just say we sold it for 56 and I want to try to buy it back for for 25 cents. Here's the spread line. Okay, here's the spread. It's 50 cent bid at 58. I'm going to click on the offer price and it'll bring up the next window. So now I'm going to buy this spread. Okay, we're going to buy it and we're going to pay 25 cents. So I have to move down here 25 cents. When I click on preview, it'll show you what's going to happen. So once again, red debit for 25 cents buying the combo we're buying the 100 put now and selling the 95 this is only done um, as the secondary the the buying to close the transaction and once again it has a negative 52 here that's what the spread is worth currently we want to try to buy it for 25 cents so, so we would have to wait for this trade to go through so we close this out so there you go that's that's really the way to create spreads trade spreads uh, in, in, in interactive brokers. Now you can do call spreads. You can buy call spreads, sell call spreads, buy put spreads, sell put spreads. It's all the same mechanics. Okay. Um, we can create, if we wanted to, we can create a call spread here. I showed you how to, how to pull up the, the legs. Each one of these is called a leg and here's the full spread price. And then you can go use the options trader, options trading, uh, tab or the mosaic. It'll bring up the same things. It'll it'll have the windows here, and you can use the strategy builder to create any spread that you want. You can also use the the strategies drop down here 
let's see what happens if I click on straddle just to see. All right, so it, it'll it'll ask you to. So if you're gonna buy a straddle, that means you're buying a put and a call, same strike price, same month. So let's just say I wanted to buy the the 100 put and I wanna buy the 100 call. So there you go. Um, it actually had, we don't want this leg in here. Oh yeah, well, actually I gave the wrong one. So we got the 105 call and I wanna buy the 105 put. So there you go. It's got the straddle. So you could use this drop down um, to, you know, it doesn't matter. You can use the drop down or you can just click on bids and offers and it'll create the, the spread for you. So there you go. There's your there's your lesson on how to use Interactive Brokers, three different versions. You got the Mosaic, you got the Options Trader, um, and the old style classic TWS, which is what I like to use. Someone had told me once before you're, that I like to use the, the MS-DOS version of computers, way back old style. So anyway, there you go. I hope this is useful for you. Um, you know, in the in the video, in this YouTube video, give me a thumbs up if this is helpful. Leave me a comment. And um, that's it for for this lesson. All right. Take care, everyone.